Hey, welcome everybody. It's Sven Hosford again with the Journal of Lifestyle Medicine Extended Interviews. This week we're going to be talking about FitCloud. It's a website that's a, uh, a review site for all things fitness. And we have with us today one of the co-founders, Rena Altman. Welcome, Rena. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, it's really great to talk to you. This was uh, really, it was great meeting you at the uh, Women's Conference, uh, Women's Conversation, I think that's where we met back in November, uh, yes. which was a great event. And then I've uh, been looking over your site here. I'm really happy to have you on this week. Uh, tell us uh, a little bit, like, what's your, what's your mission with this site? Okay, well, thanks for having me again. And our, our website is pretty much a go-to resource for anything health, fitness, and wellness. So, you know, we launched in Pittsburgh, we're based in Pittsburgh. So most of the things on the site that you're gonna see are companies that are around Pittsburgh, but we have ventured out to other cities just so we can give our readers that are, you know, traveling, moving into the city or the surrounding area to let them know what's going on in the fitness, health, and wellness arena. Yeah. Uh, so we post interviews. Uh, we have recipes, uh, but you know, it's it's mainly for people that are you know if they're trying to find something and then it will take them to where they need to go. Now, and you, you cover quite you can, a quite a range of things. Like you have a lot about tech and apps and gadgets. Um, yes. It's really become a big part of fitness today. All the technology. Yes, it definitely has. I mean, it's it's uh, it's a billion dollar industry, and it's growing now. You know, we have a lot of innovations in technology, and you know, why not bring it over to the fitness and wellness side? And you know, uh, health, insurance, hospitals, uh, everyone is getting into bringing con or connecting health and technology. So, yeah. you know, we're graduates of Carnegie Mellon University, so oh, okay. of course we have to have something technology <laughs> in our website. <laughs> well, I was going to get there. Um, I found your, your background that you posted on a website was really interesting, that you got your bachelor's in neuroscience. Um, <laughs> beyond what do you do with a bachelor's in neuroscience, draw a little <laughs> connection for us or talk about what that background did, that understanding of the brain, and uh, how that has kind of fueled your passion for fitness? Well, I, I became interested in neuroscience because I just wanted to set myself apart from all the other biology majors. I always had an interest in, in health and science. And, you know, I, I originally was going to go into practicing medicine, but I, you know, went down another path. And I, I always had a passion for fitness. So, you know, Combining what I've learned uh, throughout the years and in my, you know, in all of my jobs that I've had in the past, you know, this was a great opportunity for me to, you know, share the information on this website. And uh, the other thing that we do on our website is we interview the experts and we interview the owners of the companies that are creating these products and making these products because I do feel that is, it's there's an importance of. Uh, getting the information from the experts and for our readers to understand that, you know, to, to weed out the information that might not come from, you know, the best sources and to get them from credible sources and expert sources. I, I got to agree with you hundred percent. That's exactly what we do here at the Journal of Lifestyle Medicine. Yeah. Uh, we're focusing, focusing right with the doctors and a lot of the lifestyle professionals, uh, health food stores, yoga studios. So it's great to have uh, you working uh, simpatico with us on that that same kind of thing. There's so much science out there. Are, are you kind of following a, a lot of the science that's happening along with the technology? Uh, yes, we we do. We try to. Uh, you know, we you know we look at the trends actually mm -hmm. that are coming out, and we we want to gear more towards science. But right now, what we're seeing is the trends in the consumer side and what these and what the consumers want. But you know. The, we we want to bring more of the science behind the products right. that are coming out because everyone just sees the products and they want to you know they want to believe in the advertising right. but if you look at the science behind it then we see the glitter advertising is and maybe seeing that aren't as good as that as you think or as healthy as you think or right. you know giving you the results that you think so you know in the in the long run if you look at the science behind uh, you know, exercises or wellness or any health product out there save more money, you know? Yeah. Well, your site, it seems, is uh, very geared towards 
uh, things that will help you stay fit, especially save time and do a very efficient job at it. So it's really geared for the busy moms like yourself. Is that right? Yes, absolutely. So a little bit of the, you know, the reason why I started this website was because I was traveling for a living and I became a mom of two and, you know, at trying to get back in shape from, you know, losing, you know, gaining all the baby weight and just knowing that my body changed and getting older and, you know, you have to find different ways to become healthier. You know, what worked in the past might not work now. And that's exactly what happened with me. And, you know, I went out and tried all the products that were being advertised and it, you know, it, it actually had a negative effect on my body. So, mm. you know, that's what, another reason why I started the site because you have to, you know, do your research and, you know, listen to the experts about what really works and what doesn't work. And you can save time, you can save money. And, and most importantly, you're doing your body, a, a, you know, a service of putting good products into your body or, you know, or whatever you're taking. Yeah. So. Are you, you do most of the uh, reviews yourself. You have a team of people that do the reviews. Uh, so I, it's my sister Renee and I who do the reviews and uh, I have our our brother. He's our editor. He has a degree in in writing and editing, so he helps us out with that, so we can get that's the great. get the content out in a timely fashion. Well, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, talk some more about. Uh, I want to make another link that you know you, uh, especially your sister. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and thank your mother for us for having Rena and Renee. I mean, I know you get this a lot, and, but as, as someone named Sven, I feel qualified to, to make fun of anybody's first name. Um, it's an Italian thing. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. The Ita Everyone. <laughs> yo, yo, well, yo. Our brother's name is Rocco. So Re <laughs> Rena, Renee, and Rocco. I mean, there you go. <laughs> oh, man, I'm not going there. Okay. So <laughs> she, um, she talks about on, on your website uh, a, a real strong link between, you know, the fitness and self-image and talk about that a little bit and, and mental health and how much sharper do you feel uh, being a fit person or, you know, working at your fitness as much as you do? You know, talk about a little bit of the link that you've found between mental health and fitness. Well, you know, first of all, I, you know, I think when it comes to fitness, you have to do what makes you you feel good and 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 not what you think that you're supposed to be doing you know when you when you look at what's out there in the media and you know on the internet and everything it, you have to really take a good assessment of where you are at your point in life you know if you 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 can't get be, get bent out of shape if you know you see on the internet everyone's running marathons where you haven't even tried running a, a mile or two so you really have to take a you know a good look at yourself where you're at physically where you're at mentally and just start from there mm -hmm. and you know we we've all been there before and and now it's you know it's just realizing you know what what your potential is mm -hmm. and, and and if you start small and you grow then you know you could do things in in a healthy fashion instead of you know starting somewhere that's way over your mind and then, and, and then quitting so yeah. i don't well, know that's it, it really is important, is though, to be. It really is important to be doing something that makes you happy. Like when you get done, I know when I get done with a yoga workout, I mm -hmm. feel fantastic, and I think I'm really glad I did that, even if I had to drag myself to it. Um, right. So, but if I went and tried to run a half a mile, I'd be just, I'd be dead. So, isn't it really like the fitness part of it is? you'd really need to find those fitness things that are best for you that make you happy when you're when you're done with them right absolutely and then if if you also look at the reviews that we do so you know we a lot of the reviews that we do is you know we talk with the owners of the fitness studios and the gyms and you know we just say to them you know what do you think clients should expect from these workouts mm. because you know you do get people that you know it they're in all different phases of their workout and if they come in you want to give them you know a, a, a good sense of okay this is what you're going to expect if you get into a beginner class you know or you know an, a high intensity class and if you even if you're a beginner and you try to do the high intensity because that's what the trend is mm. then you're you're not going to get anywhere. You know, you're you're going to get way over your head, and then you're going to give up on it. It's not going to make you happy. It's going to really push where you're at mentally. But 
you know, if, if you start small and then you enjoy it and it makes you feel good, you're compelled to go back to it. And, you know, I, I can honestly say that was me, you know, it was a couple months ago. I mean, I, I was struggling trying to lose weight, but my body was, wasn't physically there because I had two children and, you know, I had them be a C-section. So it was, it was a very hard uh, recovery process, mm -hmm. but mentally I wanted to get out there and, you know, try every class and run every marathon and, you know, I just couldn't do it. So that, it, that was a frustrating point. And, you know, for people, you know, uh, you know, we don't want them to get frustrated. We really want them to mentally enjoy it, regardless of, you know, the way that they look, regardless of, you know, where they are in their life. There's all kinds of things out there that you can do, you know, and be a part of and, you know, different, you know, different uh, workouts like yoga or Pilates, you know, finding something that works for you so that you can stay consistent with and thoroughly enjoy it. Because, you know, fitness and wellness and, and health is supposed to be positive. It is supposed to be supposed to make you happy. It's not supposed to be something that is grueling and, you know, arduous and, you know, something right. that you constantly find yourself giving up on and then trying to start again. You know? Well, I, I went through Navy boot camp and I can tell you, uh, most of the workouts that I've seen advertised uh, on the, the heavy duty fitness places are way worse than anything I had to do in Navy boot camp. It was, <laughs> it was cakewalk. But uh, it kind of, it kind of reminds me that, that what I liked about your site was that it was very accessible for people who were maybe just kind of thinking about starting an exercise regimen. There's a lot of things in there for people, you know, how to get started and, and, and products to get started with and places to go, especially locally. Uh, mm -hmm. I really like that about your site too. It, it seemed thank to be you. accessible for all levels. Right. Thank you. And and the other thing that we try to do is, you know, when we talk to the either like the owners of the products or the owners of the studios, we want them to get their voice out there because people that read our site like to connect with the people before they go and try it out. You know, they like to have that personal connection. I know that I do. And, you know, the readers that I've already talked to who also like my site, they really like that aspect of it. So if they go into a studio or, you know, or try a boot camp that they never tried before and they read about it on our site, they already have that personal connection with the owner or, you know, the coach because, you know, they, they saw that interview and, you know, maybe they can relate to them, you know, on a first name basis and, you know, and, and feel better about it and feel more comfortable with getting involved with it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we look forward to, uh, your burgeoning, uh, podcasting, uh, that'll be coming up this year. It sounds like, and we'll support yes. you any way we can with that. That's a, a great way for people to really connect. Uh, we've gotten so much positive response on our clients from, uh, the, when people see them, uh, we have a doctor getting calls from all over the world. He can't understand it. He couldn't understand it until he figured out that it was the 2,500 views on his podcast. So. <laughs> yeah, we are so excited to do the podcast. That's just another extension of the content that we have on our website. And we're going to bring on special guests. We're going to answer emails from our readers, any kind of, any type of questions that people have that you know they want to learn more about or if they want to ask the SP the experts, we're going to have them on and answering those with us live. And we'll talk about some fitness news, what's in, you know, keeping up with the science, keeping up what's going on in the news today, you know, with about different companies or, you know, different product lines, different tech lines, you know, we're going to talk about everything and we're going to have a lot of fun with it too, because the other part of our podcast is fun and humor where we love humor so uh, that's the other aspect oh, that's awesome of the oh i can't wait yeah <laughs> we look forward to it well what we uh, hope people find us funny yeah yeah <laughs> I, mean, I always hope people find me funny and not just funny looking so yeah. <laughs> what's uh tell us what's happening on the uh, this summer some of the big events that you're going to be covering or uh, any things you're going to be going to or what's next on your so on your website uh, next on our website. So, you know, what we, what we really like to do is, you know, obviously we're going to start our podcast. Um, the big events that we're going to be covering, we're going to be at the Pittsburgh Fitness Expo. That's oh, the, yeah. the one that's sooner than later. We're going to, you know, try to talk to people. It's going on at the Monroeville Convention Center. Okay. And that's coming up this Saturday. Yeah, I think the 22nd, 23rd. Is that right? Yeah. 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 So we're going to check that out. You know, hopefully we'll be able to get back to our readers. Well, you know, if they can't go, we'll check it out for them. Great. You know, we'll get a good review on that. And then there, the Pittsburgh Fitness Council is holding 
uh, an event in Market Square because, you know, the city of Pittsburgh declared May the month of health and fitness. So Excellent. they're going to have a little festival and that's going on March 30th. So we'll be there. Okay. And um, let me see, Yoga, uh, yoga Fest. Yoga Fest, World right. Magazine. We'll be checking that out as yeah, well. Yeah. And that's, I'm just thinking off the top of my head, that's where we're going to be in, you know, in public. That's where we're physically going to be. But right. other than that, it's just really focusing on the podcast and still, you know, talking with other owners, talking, you know, finding out about new gyms that are in the area and doing that kind of stuff. Awesome. Well, we look forward to uh, more things to come on uh, FitCloud, and people can find it at thefit-cloud.com. We have that yes. about right? Okay. Uh, well, Rena Altman, co-founder, really nice to have you with us today. It was great to be on the show. Thank you so much, and I look forward to working with you guys again. You bet. Thanks very much.